What's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here and I have something really cool today. This is a flash drive but what makes it really interesting is that it has biometric um, encryption, hardware encryption, using your fingerprint. This is the Kanguru Defender BioLite 30. It is a USB 3.0 um, flash drive featuring, a, uh, featuring AES hardware encryption and a fingerprint reader to um, unlock it. So let's take a look at the packaging here. So it says pretty much the same thing on the side. Um, on the back we see some features slash benefits. So it's a fingerprint access flash drive, uh, super speed USB 3.0, AES 256 bit hardware encryption, uh, configurable read only access by finger, si uh, simple and easy to use, remotely manageable, onboard antivirus, solid aluminum design, and multi-platform compatibility. Cool. So this is the 16 gigabyte version. Let's go ahead and open this up. Um, so this outside box just slides off. On the inside we see that it's a white box and it is sealed with some uh, a sticker, a kangaroo sticker. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut that off. Slide across. We'll close up our knife. Oh, opens them the top. And then inside we have the drive itself. A little lanyard key ringy thing. And a little piece of cardboard that says, Thank you for choosing Kangaroo Defender to secure, uh, secure your data. The back of that is blank. So, let's look at the drive itself. It is a USB 3.0 Type A flash drive. We can see it has the blue inside that typically indicates it's 3.0. Here we see a fingerprint reader. On the top part here we see Kangaroo Defender Bio Elite 30 and it's 16 gigabytes. We have the logo of the company and it says BioLite 30 on that side and we see the access light there as well that should blink when you're accessing the drive. And it's really nice, it's a solid piece of aluminum. If you can see here the part that will plug into your computer it actually is all a single piece going around the whole body. And then we have the fingerprint reader here. Now it came with no instructions on how to kind of use this. So I'm curious in how to set that up. So let me go ahead and pull out a laptop running Linux Mint and we'll see how this drive works. Okay guys, Brian Fajoli back. We are booted into Linux Mint. Um, I have a USB extension cable running from a laptop just so I can show um, what happens when I plug in this flash drive. It'll make it a lot easier. We can see what's happening on screen uh, as well as what's happening with the drive. So the light is on top here. So I'm going to plug this in. Let's see what happens. Okay. So as soon as I plug that in, I see a little icon here for KDM Bio. So the drive can be accessed now. And let's see. On the drive there is a manual. Introduction. So this is supposed to be Linux, I'm uh, sorry, operating system agnostic. So it says for the first time initial setup you will need a PC running Windows 10 or a, a um, computer using Mac OS. So, the first problem I've run into with this drive is that uh, this Linux computer won't be able to set up the um, fingerprint reader access. So the first thing I need to do is go to a Windows computer and set this up. So that's what I'm going to do next and we'll take it from there. 
Okay, Brian Fajoli back. So I've set up the Kangaroo Drive on a Windows 10 machine where I ran through a setup process and it had me um, set up my fingerprint kind of by tapping, the same way you would do it on a smartphone. So let's see what happens now when I plug this into the Linux laptop. So it comes up as a uh, CD drive. Now, I'm hoping that what will happen is when I put my fingerprint on this, my finger, uh, the drive will unlock in Linux. And it did. Ooh. I think it did. Let's see. Yeah. So now we can see here that in addition to this KDM bio, which shows up as a CD-ROM drive, um, which is basically used to set up the initial setup security, we now have a folder here. So let's just type in this folder, TEST, and I'm now gonna unplug this drive, and it's gone. So I'm gonna plug it in again, and as soon as I plug this in, Again, it gets read as KDM BIO as a CD drive only. There is no, um, the storage drive doesn't show up until, and I only did my index finger, so let's do my middle finger. Nothing. I'll do my pinky. Nothing. Now I'll do my index finger. And there we go. Now the interesting thing here is that folder that I save of test isn't showing up anymore. Why is that? Let's do create new document. Let's do a document this time. Um, an empty document. Um, test dot test. Okay, so now we have a file on there. Um, I don't know if I need to safely eject this in order to retain what I saved, but I normally don't do that, so I'm going to unplug it again. And then we're going to plug it back in. Okay. Now it's showing up as a CD drive. Try that again. Okay, there we go. Now we have an untitled document here, but it didn't save the name I put on it. But let's go in and just write something. Let's try that. Uh, test. I misspelled test, but that's okay. And we'll save. We can see we saved. It's now flashing blue. And we're just gonna pull it out. And we'll close that. Now we'll plug it in again. We see the CD drive. I guess when it blinks blue, it recognized my finger. So now we see the untitled document and inside the word test. So it is working. It's saving the uh, information there. Um, if I click on eject to the left to eject the drive, it's now gone, but I wonder, nope, so you have to unplug it and then plug it back in. And then you should see blue when it recognizes my finger. There we go. And again, we open up the document that we created and saved and we see the word test in there. So it's, it's working, the drive is working. So this drive is, OS agnostic, it will work with Linux. However, the initial setup has to be done with Windows to set up your fingerprint reader, you know, the fingerprint reader with your finger uh, because it's a Windows executable uh, or I guess there's a, a Mac version as well where you can set up your finger. Um, so this is this is definitely a good drive for Linux users, but just keep in mind you might have to, um, you know, run Windows um, in another partition or uh, if you have like a dual boot system or go to a friend's house who has a Windows machine to do the initial setup. Uh, it works on Mac as well, but I mean, Macs don't even have USB type A anymore. The new ones, um, you know, laptops at least have USB type C. But that's it, folks. That's me checking out the drive. 
I apologize if it was boring or not, but it does give you the idea of how well it works with Linux. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.